Absinthe has long been a go-to synthesizer for those interested in creating never-before-heard sounds. With Absinthe 5, the ability to create unique sounds goes one step further in the form of sound mutations. Sound mutations allow you to transform an existing patch to resemble a sound category of your choosing. You begin by selecting a patch from the Absinthe library, then clicking on one or several tags in the browser window. Then press the Mutate button. Absinthe will now mutate the existing sound to take on the qualities of the patches that appear in the browser search results. It does this by applying an intelligent algorithm to make sure you not only get something interesting, but usable. The amount of mutation depends on the value of the mutation slider. A higher value for this slider means it will borrow more heavily from the characteristics of the sounds in the browser's search results. Increasing the random slider invokes an element of randomness to the process, ensuring that you never quite get the same thing twice. As you create mutations, they are stored in the mutate history. Here you can audition all of your various mutations, and even convert them into full-blown patches within the Absinthe library. If at any point you are unhappy with the result of pressing the mutate button, you can simply press retry, and it will create a different patch without adding the previous one to the mutate history. Using this method, you can quickly amass a large collection of highly usable patches for your projects. Specific parts of the Absinthe patch window can be excluded from the mutation process by pressing their corresponding icon on the left side of the browser. If you're happy with the current oscillator settings and don't want them to change with the next mutation, you could turn off the oscillator button, for example before pressing Mutate. Also making sound design easier is the fine-tuning section. This consists of eight knobs that control several of Absinthe's parameters at once. Instead of dealing with the synthesis parameters themselves, they refer to more general sound characteristics, such as brightness or bass. Changing one of these knobs will then adjust the parameters under the hood needed to obtain the result, freeing you from having to program Absinthe directly. We hope you've enjoyed the Absinthe 5 videos. For more information, feel free to check out the Absinthe 5 product page on the Native Instruments website.